Here's a cool party trick. Next time you see an architect in the wild, hold up a picture of Court and Steel and watch how their faces light up. But what is Court and Steel, and why do architects obsess over it? Court and Steel, which is actually called Weathering Steel, is a group of steel alloys designed to weather the elements over time. Unlike regular steel, which would rust and eventually degrade, Corten steel forms a stable, protective layer of rust that actually shields it from further corrosion. This rusty surface gives Corten steel its unique rugged aesthetic. Corten steel was first developed in the 1930s by the United States Steel Corporation, an American steel producer. Initially, it was designed for use in railroad coal wagons, where the material's ability to resist the corrosive effects of coal and weather made it invaluable. It wasn't until the 1960s, though, that Corten steel found its way into architecture, thanks to a visionary architect named Aero Saarinen. Architecture also has the purpose of marking and enhancing man's time on Earth. Saarinen used Corten steel in one of its first architectural applications for the John Deere World Headquarters in Illinois. Corten steel has an industrial look, which perfectly suited the corporate identity of the agricultural machinery company. This project marked the beginning of Corten steel's journey into the world of architecture, where it quickly became a favorite for its unique aesthetic and durability. But what exactly makes Corten steel so special? Well, the answer lies in its chemical composition. Corten steel is made of alloy elements including copper, chromium, nickel, phosphorus, manganese, and silicon. These elements are carefully balanced to create a material that forms a stable layer of rust when exposed to the element. This rust can take around six months to form, but chemical treatments can actually speed the process up to as little as one hour. This rust layer, which is by the way called a patina, acts as a protective barrier, preventing further corrosion from penetrating deeper into the steel. Now, Corten steel is corrosion resistant, and it has a tensile strength. And that's exactly where the name comes from, corrosion tensile, core 10. This patina not only protects the steel, but it also gives it that warm, earthy tone that architects and designers love. Unlike regular rust, the patina on Corten steel adheres tightly to the surface, providing long-term durability. So why do architects go nuts over Corten? Well, Corten steel offers a perfect blend of form and function. It's durable, low maintenance, and works well with a variety of materials like glass, concrete, and wood. Plus, it's a great way to add a warm organic touch to designs that also gracefully ages, allowing the spaces to build character over time. Corten steel's ability to bridge the gap between industrial toughness and natural beauty makes it a favorite among architects who want to create spaces that feel cutting edge, grounded, and dynamic. In architecture, corn steel is used in a variety of ways, from building facades and structural elements to public art installations and landscape features. Its weathered appearance allows it to blend seamlessly with natural surroundings, making it an ideal choice for projects that seek to harmonize with the environment. As an example, we could take a look at this home designed by Faulkner Architects, which is located in Orinda, California, and it allows the home to blend with the environment while providing a sustainable material choice that requires minimal maintenance. Additionally, corn steel's versatility extends to large-scale projects. Whether it's a small garden wall to a towering skyscraper, Corten steel adds a distinctive character that can't be replicated by other materials. Its ability to age gracefully over time means that it continues to tell a story, evolving with the space it inhabits. Now, there are two types of Corten steel, Corten A and Corten B, and choosing the right one depends on several factors. For example, if you want a darker, richer patina that stands out, Corten B might be the way to go. This is because Corten B has a slightly higher copper content than Corten A, resulting in a deeper, more intense color as it ages. Over time, both types of Corten steel develop that famous rust-like appearance, but the subtle differences in their composition mean they don't age quite the same. Corten B's patina tends to be more pronounced, offering a striking contrast when paired with materials like glass or concrete. On the flip side, Corten A might be your go-to if you're looking for steel that can take on heavy loads without bending or deforming. 
It has a higher yield strength, which means it can withstand more stress before it starts to warp. This makes Corten A particularly suitable for structural applications like bridges, large buildings, or any project where durability and load-bearing capacity are essential. Imagine a bridge exposed to constant stress from vehicles and environmental factors. Corten A is designed to handle that kind of pressure without losing its form. But strength isn't just about load-bearing. If your project faces dynamic forces such as high winds or seismic activity, tensile strength becomes critical. Here, Corten B has a slight advantage. It offers better resistance to tension forces, meaning it can withstand stretching or pulling forces before breaking. This makes it a strong candidate for structures that need to handle a lot of movement, like buildings in an earthquake-prone region or tall structures exposed to strong winds. Weldability is another crucial factor that sets these two types apart. Both Corten A and Corten B are weldable, but they require different techniques. Corten A is quite flexible in this regard. It can be welded using standard methods like MIG, TIG, or shielded metal arc welding. This makes it a convenient choice if your project involves a lot of welding or needs quick, straightforward fabrication. However, Corten B needs a bit more care. To achieve the best results with Corten B, you'll need to use specialized welding techniques involving core wire or filler material. This approach ensures that the welded joints are as strong and weather resistant as the rest of the structure. But Corten steel is not the holy grail of architectural materials. It actually has a few disadvantages. First, Corten works best in the environments where it can dry out regularly. In constantly wet and humid conditions, a protective rust layer can break down, leading to structural issues. One example is the Omni Coliseum in Atlanta. It is said that because of the humid conditions, the steel continued to rust until it created large holes big enough that people could walk through. Secondly, it's important to consider where the water runoff will go. The rust from Corten steel can stain nearby surfaces, so it's best to avoid placing it where drips could cause issues. A notable example of this is the US Steel Tower in Pittsburgh, where runoff initially stained the neighboring buildings and sidewalks. Despite a cleanup effort shortly after the tower's completion, some stains still remain visible on sidewalks to this day. Also, think about the long-term look. While the evolving patina is beautiful, it's really not for everyone. Some clients might actually prefer materials that stay consistent over time and offer a less polarizing experience. Corten steel is truly a captivating material. Despite having its share of flaws and presenting some unique challenges, it also offers a number of remarkable advantages. Its unique capability to develop a protective, evolving patina over time, paired with its low maintenance requirements and bold natural aesthetic, has actually solidified its place as a favorite in contemporary architecture. These features make it easy to see why architects are so enthusiastic about this material. Now, if you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more architectural insights. See you in the next one.